He's in reverse. He's in reverse. See what I mean? It just like, you can feel it catching. Like, did you hear it? it was like revving up and then it would catch? It's just so bad, so I pretty much do not have reverse. I have a lot of explaining to do, and today's video is just gonna be a bunch of talking, but bear with me because we're gonna work through this together. Right behind me is Black Bay. This is my beloved Tundra. You guys know it's the supercharged truck. It's a big, heavy machine that gets me to and from, and it's my dream truck. Unfortunately, she's destroyed? That could be a good word for it. She doesn't drive at the moment. Uh, the transmission, to be completely frank with you, is completely destroyed in this truck. Could be a combination of things between heavy towing, the truck weighing over 8,000 pounds, being on 37s, being supercharged, or all those as a combination, plus a couple of problems with the cooling of the transmission fluid. Either way, the transmission in this truck is rendered useless. Even getting the truck to this particular parking spot was almost impossible. So yeah, that wasn't me just stomping on the gas and it jerking. It was jerking because, well, it won't even catch in gear. It's very difficult. As you guys can tell, I'm at the Toyota dealership. This is where my Tundra has got all of its services. Everything that's ever been uh, done, like service-wise to it, has been done here. And it has come back that the transmission is completely gone out of the truck. And good thing though, I got extended warranty. Bad thing is the extended warranty doesn't work if your truck is modified in the slightest. And I have one or two modifications on this bad boy, so it's gonna cost me a pretty penny, um, which leads us to our other truck over here. A lot of you may be saying, Brandon Jay, isn't this the giveaway truck? Didn't you give this away like last year? And the answer to that question is yes, it is the giveaway truck and yes, we did give it away to a winner named Cody Rear. As you guys know, I'm supposed to be giving this truck right here behind me away. And uh, we finally got a winner and uh, I found him on Facebook. So I'm gonna call him right now. But I said, hey, boss man, it's chicken. <laughs> and he was, <laughs> he basically doesn't think it's me because he was like, the, the account's not verified. It's my personal Facebook account, which is already weird. Uh, so I'm gonna video message him right now and tell him that he won. Yo, what up, boss man? Oh, what's up, man? Can you, you think it's me for real now? Uh, a little bit. Uh, hey, I uh, I got some good news, man. Oh uh, yeah. Do you see this truck right here? Oh uh, yeah. Do you know you bought some merch where you could win this truck? Yeah. Well, I gotta come deliver the truck to you or fly you down here because it's yours, man. Oh, uh, that's crazy. <laughs> where are you from? She's all yours, man. I got the keys right here. She's got the battery, and uh, she's going to be going home with you. Oh, my God. Crazy. <laughs> all right, buddy. Well, I'm going to uh, get your contact info. This is, uh, I was going to say this is my phone number, but it's not. This truck's yours, so we got to figure out how to get it over, if it's best to bring you down or get it to you somehow. But it's your truck, yeah. so congratulations. All right, man. Well, we'll keep in touch. I'll go ahead and uh, keep in touch with you through here. So if you have any questions, just message over. It'll go straight to my inbox, and we'll be able to just bounce. Oh, okay. All right, it's good talking to you, man. Congrats. All right, All right. thanks, man. See you, buddy. I, how do I even explain this? He won the truck. We talked to him. He was super stoked about it. He also just bought a brand new vehicle and is in the point of buying a house. The truck necessarily wasn't the best fit for him, so we ended up going a cash route and I gave him the cash value of the truck. I thought that was fair. He thought that was fair and it actually worked better for him. Uh, turns out it worked good for me because this truck has been sitting in Columbus, Georgia at the place that was gonna ship it to him. I didn't need a truck because I had this big old thing. So I was like, well, I don't need my Tacoma. I'm not in a rush. It just sat there for eight months-ish. And uh, now that my truck uh, took a dump, uh, I went up to Columbus, Georgia for Jake's birthday. While I was up there, I scooped up the Tacoma. So now we are in possession of the Tacoma again. So I just want to clear this up. Everybody thought this was the giveaway truck for some reason. That wasn't the case. This is the giveaway truck, which was given away. It didn't fit the guy though, so we just gave him the value of the truck. I have paper receipts and all this, 
Um, so looks like we're gonna be driving the baby taco for a while because the big tundra is, well, she's hurting. On a completely different note, the Tacoma's looking freaking giant compared to the Tundra. It, it is on like an incline to be fair. The Tundra is way bigger. Uh, if I go like this, it, it just dwarfs the Tundra, but um, or it dwarfs the Tacoma. But I'm gonna miss this thing, man. I absolutely love this truck. It just, I think it's gonna take like a month to get the transmission. So we're gonna be driving this guy. Uh, we do have to switch all of the gear over though. And this is what sucks is like, I need to get to and from places, which is fine, but I also need to be able to pull my boat, which I'm not gonna be able to do with the Tacoma. So a lot of wave runner action coming for you guys. Uh, but I also have all my organization and stuff dialed in the Tundra and not so much in the Tacoma, which brings me to the sponsor of today's video, which is Decked. <sighs> We're gonna <laughs> be without the deck system in the Taco, um, but we've gotta remove all that stuff and put it in the Tundra. So let's get to the back of the truck and show you just what I'm talking about. It's been here for weeks and I still have all my dive stuff in it, but look how amazing these things are. Dude. These drawers are modular drawers. They pull all the way out. This one is holding, right now it's holding three scuba tanks. These things weigh like 90 pounds a piece. So this thing's almost holding 300 pounds and it just glides like nothing. So these are like the best things ever. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to take all this stuff out, even these little small little pieces and just throw them into the back of the Tacoma. And that is why I feel spoiled now that I have a deck system because all the little pieces, they have a home. When I throw them in the back of the Tacoma, they're just gonna be bouncing all over the place. This thing helps me keep organized on the road. You guys might even be able to tell it's about to rain outside. And if I didn't have the topper, even if, with the deck system, it still wouldn't be a problem. This thing's actually weatherproof. So you can put all your stuff in here and it's not gonna get wet, which is so, so nice. <laughs> To even prove that to you guys, I throw all my wetsuits and stuff just on here soaking wet and all the stuff inside the drawers are always completely dry as well as the ammo boxes in there. As I'm telling you guys about this drawer system, it makes me sad because I honestly, it makes filming so much easier and we're gonna be ripping without it for about a month. So the back of that truck is about to get trashed. If you guys couldn't tell already, all of the drawers roll out waist high. So it makes getting to all your stuff really easy. I don't have all the accessory boxes in them right now, but, but you can get different accessories, which may make your life specifically easier. If you have a bunch of small things or toolboxes that fit perfectly and snug inside of the drawer systems. Another thing too, is they're actually made 100% in the USA. And they're also relatively easy to get into the back of your truck. I think it took me like, 45 minutes to put everything to get it in there. Another thing is they have a lifetime warranty, no questions asked, with amazing support team behind them ready to answer all of your questions. Last thing though, is locking it up and keeping all of your stuff safe. When I travel, I keep all my SD cards and computers actually in the drawer system. It is not able to be removed from your truck as long as the tail bed is locked. And if you don't have a tailgate, you can actually get locks for the individual drawers themselves. They go right here. You wanna double up, get locks on there, close this up. All your stuff is gonna be completely safe. So make sure to protect your stuff and organize like I do. You guys can get your very own deck system for your truck. All you gotta do is go to deck.com slash Brandon and you're gonna get free shipping. So Deck, thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. I really do appreciate it and uh, I'm sorry I'm gonna be rocking the old taco without your uh, drawer system for the next month. Honestly, it hurts my heart more than it hurts yours probably because I do use these things every single day. It's just not the same, man. It really isn't like, just gonna start chucking stuff in here. Pretty much officially switched over now. <sighs> what a sad day. Gotta leave the big girl. That ain't right. I know like the branded portion of the video is over, but see the difference? Man, as, as excited as I am to drive the taco again, the Tundra was like, it's like the mascot at this point, so. I don't know. I'm sad. I'm disappointed. The tranny went out. But at the end of the day, we got to do what we got to do to make videos for you guys. And uh, luckily, I'm going to be going to somewhere special for pretty much the entirety of January. So it should give them time to work on this. And uh, 
we won't be needing a vehicle where we're going so it's gonna be really cool so stay tuned to the channel for that we got a bunch of videos coming out for you guys still but just want to update you and i feel like at least you guys know about the tacoma now which is cool too you guys have been blowing me up what happened with the giveaway what happened with the giveaway so it's not like i had the video of me giving it away because we gave them cash uh instead um but we got the taco back now we got the tundra back now they're reunited but about to be separate once again so i'm gonna park the tundra and uh get onto the road i guess and as always we'll catch you on the next adventure which is gonna be kicking it old school back in the good old taco all right thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed catch you on the next adventure and uh yeah thank you deck for sponsoring today's video peace out well, that's awesome, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. That's cool. That guy just bought the brand new Tundra. Oh, that's that thing's freaking awesome. The guy let me look inside the brand new Tundra. It's, it's back there. I didn't want to like point the camera all in his vehicle, but it's definitely cool. The inside is cool. I don't know how I feel about the outside yet, but I bet if you throw some cool off-road parts, it would look sick. It's interesting. Yeah, it's definitely interesting. I don't know, it's one of those things, it might grow on you. I don't know, we'll see.